Three wise men came to visit where I've been. They brought gifts with the South Side blend. One had Hennessy, the other a book of street ministry. The third gave a mirror and told me to remember me. Assemblies, assemblies, and metaphors, analogies, this analog, the reservoirs. I come from niggas got the dog in them. They become gods, no longer with hog in them. I saw venom in the eyes of a snake The Solomon for common and I wise up the place Like a prize in a race That boy hold the medal by the scars on his face I could tell he know the ghetto where we both trying to get to It ain't coincidental His is on the streets, mine's is over instrumentals The Lord sent my mental to be more than sentimental The ventricles that I've been through are temples of what I've been through Why don't you wise up show up? Lord Willis, drug dealers, monks with keys to go Rilla, Chicago Illa. Some no dilla, rich cars for fillers. Parents trying to get their kids to 18, so they will us. Young ends is restless, investments, investors. My man ain't from Dallas, but he know where the Texas hold them. My poker face is golden. Pedigree of a legacy that's stolen. Wise like the old man with food in his beard. And when he cry freedom, it's jewels in his tears. Blues in the beers, outside in the fears. A slew for the truth, it's clues in the years. I unruled the fears so that I could get beers. Like the diabolical and do the improbable that anything's possible ill. But it's logical, touched by black angels so you can feel the molecules. Why don't you rise up, show up? Positive energy, good vibrations, the whole nine. It's your host, Sam Marshall Law, and welcome to the Sam Marshall Law Show. Another episode. I'm very grateful for you to be here. I'm very thankful for me to be here. I'm very appreciative that you are allowing me the honor to provide you a positive energy and good vibrations for the next, you know, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, hour, however long we end up going. But you're here with me. So I appreciate y'all. We're going to get into a, a great show today. We're going to talk about law number 10 in my book, I Still Love Her, and that law is what you receive depends on how you take it. I'm going to say it again. Law number 10 in Psyography, I Still Love Her, the Sam Marshall Law book. Law number 10 is what you receive depends on how you take it. But before we get into the show, you know how I like to start. With a, a prayer for myself, you, the earth, the universe, the multiverses. You know how we do. We're going to start like this. Universal gods, God, Ja, cosmic intelligence, the all, the great architect, God. Thank you for allowing us to wake up today with purpose. 
Thank you for our inner peace. Thank you for inner happiness. Thank you for focus. Thank you for discipline. Thank you for creativity. Thank you for love. Thank you for abundance. Thank you for a life filled with affluence and prosperity. Thank you for our healthy or organs. Thank you for our healthy brains, healthy hearts, our healthy skin, bones, joints, muscles, all of that. Thank you for putting us around good people that elevate us higher and people that we can elevate higher that are receptive of the love and the value that we bring to the table. So thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for blessing the day most high. And there we have it. So let's start the show. So we're gonna um, we're gonna start by reading out of the book as usual. It's a short chapter, so I'm gonna um, read from the book and then I'll, I'll shoot from the hip, speaking on this subject. So here goes. Law ten: What you receive depends on how you take it. How you react to a given situation will bring you to your following life scenario and so forth. It is very possible to receive something bad from what appeared to be good, and also the opposite. Something extraordinary happens. Okay, what will you do next, though? Something terrible happens. Okay, what will you do next, though? Long after the sun is gone, you will continue to shine. When the storm is coming down hard, you can still dance in the rain. And the opposite as well. Life can be so great, it does not mean the universe will not decide to throw a wrench in your plans. There will always be good and bad days. We can't change that. We can change, however, is what we do next. So the verse I'm going to read is called, um, it's from a song called Duality off an album I did with a female producer from Russia. Her name is Mudblood. The album is called Sui Generous. This song is called Duality. And this is verse one, including the hook. And it goes like this. Everything has an opposite. The world's about duality. What's your mentality? Pauper or the majesty? Got your head on straight or are you bordering insanity? Struggle to keep your feet on the ground or are you gravity? Listen, are you trying for the tragedy? Rich or the raggedy? Selfless or the vanity? Will your story end angrily or happily? The choice is yours. The world is built on duality. Are you positive or negative? The hero or the villain? Are you the type to do the most talking? Or do you listen? Fact or opinion? Every day or night we make a decision. Freedom or prison? Science or some believe in religion? You greedy or giving? Hold grudges or are you forgiving? Breaking or fixing? Just beginning or are you quitting? Losing or winning? Clear or confused with your vision? Legends die, but some people alive are not living. Are you climbing or digging? Losing or gripping or are you sticking? Growing or shrinking? Playing it safe or are you risking? Swimming or sinking? Being unthoughtful or thinking? Fresh or are you stinking? Break the chain or are you linking? Against the willing? Giving props or are you dissing? Bringing people together or are you the one that causes division? Need motivation or a self-start and ignition? What's your depiction? Everyone has a description. The Breakdown 1. Are you positive or negative? The hero or the villain? Are you the type to do the most talking or do you listen? I started with this because it hits closest to home. I personally have been chiefly identified with being consistently positive. However, nobody is perfect and we all have our days. I've been seen as a hero to some and a villain to others. I've also been seen as an anti-hero with a by any means necessary attitude. Can we only be one thing at a time? Or are we that limited? What you receive from a person or situation may have more to do with how you see yourself than what the person or situation actually is. It's been said that Marvel's Professor X and Magneto were created to mirror Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. However, depending on your or my experiences, you or I may see the men mentioned above wholly different. I personally believe we all have a level of duality within us. I may have a bit of Professor X and Magneto both in me, but who gets to decide who you are in the end anyway? Your actions do. Your actions will have the last say. This brings me to my next question. Are you the type who does more talking than the actual work? Again, in the end, Actions always speak louder. However, sometimes 
People do the work in this life but never get the credit because they don't speak up. A lesson best learned early is that a mouth closed will never get fed. Two. Fact or opinion, every day or night we make a decision. Freedom or prison, science or some believe in religion. Fact or opinion, in almost every moment, we have to decide if we will choose the logic found with the facts we possess or the wisdom that lies in our own opinions to guide us. Sometimes we need a bit of both. Other times, if we look deep enough, we may find striking similarities even in the science and religion. Sometimes we only see opposites because that's what we were taught to see. Occasionally, we as people are even more alike than it first seems. Three. You greedy or giving? Hold grudges or are you forgiving? Breaking or fixing? Just beginning or are you quitting? Losing and winning? Clear or confused with your vision? Ironically, the greediest people always have the least. And the most giving people end up with the most. It is because although opposites, giving and receiving are one and the same. What you give out will always come back to you, but what you hold on to will never allow you to grow. That includes holding on to money, possessions, or even grudges. When you forgive and let go, it enables you to develop. Let go and let grow. Letting go or holding on either leads you to a breaking or fixing. However, just because something breaks, it doesn't mean it is forever broken. It could actually be the beginning of a blessing in disguise. Four, legends never die, but some people alive and not living. Are you climbing or digging, losing or gripping, or are you sticking, growing or shrinking, playing it safe or risking, swimming or sinking, being unthoughtful or are you thinking? Fresh or are you stinking? Break the chains or are you linking? Every day, legends leave us with something that will be remembered throughout eternity. In opposition, regular everyday people do things that will be forgotten by the end of the day. It is up to you to decide which category you fall in. Some choose to climb the higher heights, while others dig themselves into deeper problems than they were already in. Will you grow to be a giant amongst men? Or will you shrink when matched against the competition? In this life, we are on a constant slope. And our level of focus combined with passion will determine whether we slip or hold on to our dreams with the tightest grip. 5. Against the willing, giving props or are you dissing, bringing people together or are you the one who causes division, need motivation or a self-starting ignition? What's your depiction? Because we all have a description. Not everybody you meet is going to be your friend or want you to succeed. Some will be against you by default, but others will attempt to will you to win. Hold on to friends tight that continually support you because so many people will try to rip you down or dish you along your way out of pure envy or jealousy. You have a choice. Will you use your time here to bring people together with love or divide us more with hate? Everything has an opposite, the world's about duality What's your mentality, purple or the majesty? Got your head on straight or are you bordering insanity? Struggle to keep your feet on the ground or your gravity? Listen, are you trying for the tragedy? Rich or the raggedy, selfless or the vanity? Will your story end angrily or happily? The choice is yours, the world is built on duality Are you positive or negative, the hero or the villain? Are you the type to do the most talking and do you listen? Fact or opinion, every day and night we make a decision Freedom or prison, science or some believer religion you greedy or giving hope grudges or are you forgiving breaking or fixing just beginning or are you quitting losing or winning clear or confused with your vision legends never die but some people alive and not living you climbing and digging losing your gripping or are you sticking growing and shrinking playing it safe or risking swimming and sinking being unthoughtful or are you thinking fresh you stinking break the chain or are you linking against the willing giving props or are you dissing bringing people together or the one that causes division need motivation for the self-starting ignition What's your depiction? Cause we all have a description Every
everything has an opposite The world's about duality What's your mentality? Corporal or the majesty? Got your head on straight or are you bordering insanity? Struggle to keep your feet on the ground or your gravity? Listen, are you trying for the tragedy? Rich or the raggedy? Selfless or the vanity? Will your story end angrily or happily? The choice is yours, the world is built on duality You full of love or full of hate? Terrible or something great? Impatient or gonna wait? Crooked or brother straight? A person of the morning or all unite? Flee or do you fight? The darkness of the light, the blindness of the sight What is wrong or what is right? The bravery or the fright? The nightmare of the dream? Do you operate as a solo act or a team? Exude confidence, I have trouble with self-esteem Man and machine, suffering silence and scream Do you hold a corner or do the most cause you're extreme? Spiraling down, a crown this year is your ascension Disappearing the crowds at the center of attention Go with the floor objection, raw or contraception Never read the manual or do you study the lesson? Got a clue or you guessing? The answer or the question? I reckon, inside of us all, this hell of heaven Everything has an opposite, the world's about duality What's your mentality? Corporal or the majesty? Got your head on straight or are you bordering insanity? Struggle to keep your feet on the ground or your gravity? Listen, are you trying for the tragedy? Rich or the raggedy? Selfless or the vanity? Will your story end angrily or happily? The choice is yours, the world is built on duality. What's right without wrong? Up without down, a smile without a frown, a mainstream without the underground. Are you the heater or freezer? Follower or leader? Silent partner or speaker? Shallow one or the deeper? Woke or the sleeper? Expensive taste of the cheaper? Will you get thrown back in the ocean? Are you a keeper? A student, a teacher? Faith strong or non believer? Giver or receiver? Underwhelm or overachiever? The type to say fuck the rules of following procedure? Either got a maid or a Paul to pay Peter? Hesitant or eager? The star of the feature? Don't want the smoker? Got a medical card for reefer? You either get an ether or you the ether It's every creature, from a child to a senior From the king to the queen to every street sweeper Life will always be the duality dealer Everything has an opposite, the world's about duality What's your mentality, corporal or the majesty? Got your head on straight or are you bordering insanity? Struggle to keep your feet on the ground or your gravity? Listen, are you trying for the tragedy? Rich or the raggedy, selfless or the vanity? Will your story end angrily or happily? The choice is yours, the world is built on duality Welcome back to the Sam Marshall Law. I am your gracious host, Sam Marshall Law. Thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We are talking about basically perspective. My, uh, the chapter in my book, What You Receive, depends on how you take it. And I usually end the show with several quotes. And the show's not ending now, but I picked out several quotes when talking about this subject to kind of um, uh, force my topic. It's not force my topic, force my point home. When it comes to perspective and the first one um, I picked out was from Albert Einstein and he the quote is reality is merely an illusion I'll bet a very persistent one the way I see it perspective shapes our reality it's like a kaleidoscope with each twist and turn it's like a new thought and emotion that kind of reflects a new pattern in our world um, and in my book that's exactly what I talk about I encapsulate that with the subject um, so to me, life is not just about, to me, it's never really about what happens. It's how we react to what happens to us. Um, it's never really about what life throws at us. It's how we catch it or how we juggle it or even how we throw it back. It's all about what's next, the future and making that future the moment of now. In... I, I watched this um, documentary a long time. It, I think it's called What's What's Down the Rabbit Hole or something like that. I'm pretty sure you might be able to find it on YouTube, but it's the first time I learned about um, quantum physics in this way, and I found out that in quantum physics, the observer effect, where it suggests that just the mere observation of an activity, of a phenomenon inevitably changes that phenomenon and it's not just a scientific observation but a metaphor for life the way i see it 
So when we shift our focus, the very nature of our reality also shifts. It's like in the Matrix when the little boy was bending the spoon and then Neo was kind of figuring out how to do it and the little boy was like, it's the spoon, excuse me, it's me that bends, not the spoon. Um, in our essence, I feel like we're co-creators of our own universe, painting our own canvas with brush strokes of our, of our perceptions. That's a bar, br brush strokes of our perceptions. <laughs> um, so another quote I found is, the mind is everything. What you think you become, that's Buddha. A great spiritual teacher um, that, you know, there are books about everyone studies the Buddha or knows something about the Buddha, has a Buddha statue. And with that quote, the Buddha understands the transformative power of perspective. In Buddha's teachings, for instance, um, from what I've read, the emphasis is on the, the importance of having the right view and the perspective that is in the accordance with the reality that you wish to be in. And when we do adapt our perspective to align with compassion and mindfulness and like understanding, we don't just change our reality, we also elevate it. Another quote that I came across was from Henry Ford, and it's always been one of my favorites. It's whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. I always have used that quote. I love it. Attitude is the alchemist's stone that can transmute base metals into gold. Know that. It's not the events in our lives, but our attitudes towards them that determine the outcome. Know that. And by changing our attitude, we can change our personal world. And by extension, the world around us. Know that. It's a very powerful thing, the power of belief. Patients given a sugar pill but believe in this medicine, sometimes experience real improvements in health. And that's the mind's power to alter reality. A power that everybody holds inside of us. Like, I, I know I have it, but I can't say I'm more special than the next person, but I, I know that my mind has the power, so I know your mind has the power too. Another quote that I came across was uh, from Martin Luther King Jr. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. And you might think, how is that relating to what we're talking about now? And the way I see it is that ultimately, all these perspectives converge into a singular understanding that we're interconnected and our perspectives are not solitary islands but part of a vast like a a, a vast country together and I, uh, and each of our ideas they're affecting each other and by embracing a perspective of unity and empathy we can create a reality that is, that is kinder and more inclusive and more connected so when I bring that Martin Luther King quote again, I'll say it again in the end, we'll remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. So a lot of things are happening right now on earth and we can't stop these things from happening. This is life, whether they're good or bad things are going to happen. But remember I said, this thing is not about what happens. It's always about what happens next or how you react to it. And how that Martin Luther King quote connects to that is that in the end, we're not going to remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. So a lot of things are happening and it's like, what are we doing as a people to elevate? So how are we going to connect? Another quote that I came across was um, by Charles R. Swindoll. And it's life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. So to me, it's a profound statement. And it reminds us that our reaction, our perspective, is how reality is forged. It's about the lens through which we can 
view our experiences that filter the colors of the world. And if we go back to, you know, talking about quantum mechanics, it doesn't just tell us about like the subatomic levels of things. It pretty much tells us secrets about the art of living that um, show I was talking about that what the bleep down the rabbit hole that's what it's called they had the, they did the um, famous double slit experiment it reveals that particles behave differently let me um, say this very clearly so they did this experiment the um, the show is called what the bleep down the rabbit hole and it's, it's a famous experiment but um, they did a double slit experiment which reveals that particles behave differently when observed and that is just incredible. It basically tells you that what you think about and what you believe in your mind, that is what that literally is what is real. So it's your perspective. It's not about anything that happens except what you actually believe. That's your reality. They proved it with that experiment. You got to you got to check out this documentary. It's called What the Bleep Down the Rabbit Hole. It's pretty old by now. But, you know, they showed that the experiment showed it revealed that particles behave differently when you observe them, which to me says so much. Like just because you observed it, it's changing. So. Your perspective is everything. If you change your thoughts, you change your world. That was Norman Vincent Peale. And then there's Our Life is What Our Thoughts Make It by Marcus Aurelius. To me, there is alchemy of attitude. And it's not just a metaphor. It's really psychological reality. Our attitudes have the power to transmute the mundane into the magnificent. <laughs> Sometimes I speak like this and people think like I'm not being serious, but... It, it is like a comic book to me because I, I love this because we are superhuman. We are superhuman. We're like X-Men. We can do all of this with our minds, with our emotions, with our, with our clear thoughts. So when I'm saying that we have alchemy of attitude, it's, it's really not a metaphor. It's, it's, I'm, this is real talk. <laughs> we can really do these things. We are, are that powerful. Our emotions bring life. And with our emotions and our clear thoughts and with a clear idea of our perspective, with what happens to us, we can always change that in our favor if we change our perspective. So it all, whatever you're given, if you're given a bad attitude, you can change that bad attitude. If you're given a good attitude, you can change that in as well. But it's always what you're given, how you, you know, you can, you don't have to take what you're given just because it's given that way. You always have the ability to create your future based on what you, what you feel life should be about or what you feel life should be like. So just because you're given dirt doesn't mean you have to lay in it. Stars, the ether, create the dreamer in my soul, so eager to be. I am 
Only good vibrations over here, positive energy. You know how I do. Hope y'all feeling good right now. So we're gonna um just get into the news of the week. You know I I'm not a, a real news anchor. I just it's just the bits and pieces I I find and hear during the week that I feel like people might not have heard about. So if you need like the real news, you probably should go read the New York Times or CNN or whatever you do. This news is not that it's not real. It's just that it's interesting news that I feel like you might not hear. Um, or or just random things that I, like the first piece of news that I have is not it came through me to me via text, and my guy who was sitting next to me, who also has T Mobile, d- didn't get the text, and the text said that starting like June eighth or June fifth or something. T-Mobile is raising their prices. So if you have multiple lines, each line is going to be $5 more. They're wilding. They're wilding. Like, come on. Y- y'all not millionaires already? Most have millionaires, billionaires, whatever, whoever really owns that. Like, did y'all need that? Act? Like, what did you need? More yachts? Oh, just the world is anyway. Anyhow. Keep this up and I will change phone carriers. Don't mess with me. <laughs> um, on June the on June the third, this is really cool. There is gonna be if you look look up in the sky, you're gonna be able to see about six different planets for twelve days. They're calling this the Parade of Planets: uh, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, I believe Saturn, Uranus. And Venus, um, you'll be able to see up in the um, sky. It's going to be for like 12 days, so you shouldn't miss it. But um, I'm not exactly sure why they're showing up in the sky for 12 days, but they are. And I'll be looking up to see what's going on. Um, I don't have much more. Disney Plus is saying they're cracking down on password sharing. At, yo, at this point, I switched over to not having cable TV. And now, at this point, I'll probably pay about the same amount I used to pay when I was trying to escape Xfinity and Comcast miscellaneous fees they kept hitting me with. I feel like I'm paying the same amount in all the um, apps I have now, like Peacock, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Stars. I'm just naming them now because I, I, I can't even tell you which ones I have. I have them all. They're wildin'. They're wildin'. They need to to cut it out. You ever hear, hear of something called HelloFresh? My daughter was telling me about it today. Um, you get food delivered to your house for, like, the month, and they give you, like, different meals to make. Um, it was just interesting. I wonder if that's where the world is moving in general. Sometimes we get groceries delivered to our house, and that's something that never would have happened back in the day. 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have, man. Um, they found another ancient mega structure, different than the one I told y'all about last week, which is crazy. Um, under the sea, eleven thousand years old. They're calling it the Stone Wall, and they think they're it's gonna give them clues to what happened back in the Stone Age. <sighs> they're finding ocean after ocean, mega structure after mega structure. They found a new species of animal, as well a new snail. <sighs> the world interesting times but you know my name is Sam Marshall Law <laughs> and this is the Sam Marshall Law show this is the ending I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for being here I am grateful for y'all let me end y'all with the quote of the day and it's a straightforward one by Maya Angelou and it goes like this in diversity there is beauty and there is strength. Yes, my friends, remember this. My name is Sam Marshall Law. This has been another episode. Yo, add me on Instagram and TikTok and everything, everywhere you can find me. At C-Y-M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L-L-A-W. Peace, love, and positive energy. Until next time, we out like that. Peace.